This morning I've been uh, pruning back this tomato uh, bush. It is a, a terminate, I believe it's called, um, type of tomato. It's supposed to grow into a big bush and then do its tomatoes and then die off. But it's been a big bush. And so what I've been doing is, uh, as you can see here, trimming off some of the outlying branches so more energy can be focused on the main vine and on the fruit and the blossoms. So something like this that will probably not produce any flowers. And then uh, the sucker in here is starting to grow. Just snip off and give it a little more room in here so it's not overshadowing other plants. That one's coming from way over here. So it has room in here to uh, grow and concentrate all its energy on the fruiting and the main vines. On the determinate type, you really don't need to do pruning. If you have the room, let them go. But uh, I want to kind of keep it in here so I get some sunlight in all of there. And plus I have my bell peppers over there. I want to make sure they don't get over shadowed by the tomatoes and speaking of which this is a uh, this was a clipping a sucker I took off of uh, the same plant here it was only about yay high when I got it and then it's been rooting I'm waiting for someone to come take it before because otherwise I'm going to just take it out of the system it was more of an experiment but it's already blossoming and going to have fruit soon so Back to the tomato plant. This one's about done. I might get in here and get a few more of those leaves out there, give it more room to grow behind the wire there. But over here I have the indeterminate type of tomato plants, which I've been pruning to. Anything below the flowering level, I've been just pruning off. Again, gives it more energy for the upper levels. Same thing over here. These are both a cherry type. This is a cherry, a grape. And this one is a yellow pear type tomato. So I'm pruning those off. I'm going to start training this to go over here and get these cherries trained here. Probably going to get another piece of chicken wire right here behind the Brussels sprouts and have a branch or two go this way to get more. I love cherry tomatoes, so as many as I can get, the better. I'm not really into the big, beefier ones, but. They're good for salads and kids hamburgers. I don't need hamburgers, but so that's what I'm doing this morning before it gets too warm. It's nice and cool in here. I won't say cool, but it's nice in the greenhouse. So I'll just keep on. Uh... Yeah, let's get rid of that one too. I'm pruning back the tomato plant. Also this morning, we got our uh, first yellow squash in a long time. This is one from seed, not from flat. This whole plant right here came from seed. So this is my first vegetable, well, totally from seed. And we will uh, cook that one up tonight with the monster zucchini we have. All right, that's it for tomatoes. These are the ones I'm kind of watching for ripening. They were one the first ones on the branch. So let's watch them. I did cut one off that was uh, split already. So I'm watching them closely for splitting. So that's it for tomatoes. I'm going to get another one right here out of the way. And we'll see you next time.